This video is going to be a quick tutorial on how I put together a video that I post on YouTube. And I know there are a lot of videos out there that tell you how uh, to use different software. So that's not my intention. I'm not going to try to teach you how to use the software. I'm not going to give you different examples of what's available. I'm just going to show you what I do after I shoot a video either on my camcorder or the GoPro. This one is going to be on the GoPro because I deleted all my other files. In fact, I take that back. I just recovered this folder. So I'm going to show you a video that I just posted on a, an air pump, an air pump for a bicycle. So I've got my files here, 1920 by 1080, so it's uh, HD, uh, 60 frames a second, which makes it an absolute nightmare to do for processing, but I've got a fast machine, so without the fast machine, 60 frames a second really is not an easy thing to do. program I use is Cyberlink Pro. Don't complain about not using a screen grabber or a screen recorder. I don't have the time to do that. I don't want to do that. I'm using PowerDirector Pro 12. Now, if you buy this and you use anything over PowerDirector Pro 13, you're probably going to have a problem. I'm just going to leave it at that. Uh, making it work, PowerDirector Pro 12. You should be able to uh, get things to work on your machine. I just went out and bought PowerDirector Pro 17. I don't like buying software, but it's worth the money to me, and I pop out a massive amount of videos, and this is the program I've been using forever. So let me see. I'm going to try to get a better angle of this right now, if I can. So I can't really get the camera to show what I want to show without uh, moving it around a little bit, and that's just what I'm going to do. So I've got the uh, file saved on my desktop, and what I'm going to do, this is really easy. That's why I use this. I, most most uh, editing software is pretty easy to use unless you get into the advanced uh, options on there, and I don't get into the advanced options. I don't care about color grading. I don't care about doing a great title screen, and maybe that's why I'm not, my channel's not as powerful as others, but I'm doing okay. So this is just for the person who wants to get going for the first time. They don't know how to use editing software. They're overwhelmed by everything, but they want to pop out a video. They don't want to shoot it with their cell phone and upload it directly from the cell phone. They have a computer. They've got a real computer. And that's what we're going to do here. So we're going to go to this little arrow up here. And you can do this many different ways, but I'm just going to show you how I do it. So I'm going to import a media folder. Now for me, I saved it under YouTube Files, a folder, and we're going to go load in the whole fo uh, folder. I could have also clicked on load in individual files, and then I could have clicked on the folder and loaded whatever files I wanted. So this is just going to load in everything that is in that folder. And you can see that I've got individual files on a camcorder, which this was done on. I shut off the camera while I was doing the recording, so each one of these files was, I shut it off and I started the camera again. If you're going to be doing this from a GoPro, GoPro is really strange. It records for 17 minutes per file, and it goes in and gives you really weird file naming. So I'm not going to get into that. I'm just going to show you that, let's say that I want to use all of these. I'm going to go in and I'm going to highlight all of this with a control A. None of this really matters. I'm just showing you how easy it is to set up a channel and to get going. I'm going to do a control A and it's going to highlight all of these. You can see it's highlighted. What we have over here, this is the first file that I had highlighted. See if I, I'm going to go click on the second one. That's going to show up in the box. On the right, I'm going to click on the last one. That's going to show up in the box. So if I was doing that, I could click on the, I could click on the last one. I could go over here and I could play with the arrow. I could play it. The well, one thing I hate about this book, but and since I want to load all of them, 
I'm going to click on here, I'm going to do a control A, and I'm just going to drag all of this down to my timeline. Now, this program will allow you to use something like a hundred different timelines. I'm just showing, I do really simple videos. I do a timeline and that's it. Sometimes I go on the second timeline and I blur something out. I go down, I don't think you can see it over here because I'm doing this really lame. Sorry, that's the telephone that's in the way. I can go down over, can you see it? There's a T over there and that's for uh, title. That's the title line. The other stuff I never use. I don't put in additional sounds in. FX is if I'm going to put in a, a blur thing, um, but I'm not going to do that. Now over here we've got the timeline. If I went and I clicked on over, look, see where the mouse is over here? I could click on the clip. Well, let's, I could highlight this file over here and I could play my clip. This is going to be a product review of it. Or I could click on movie and it will play the, the whole movie all the way through so I can see what's going on. So I don't really want to show a lot of detail. I just want to show you how simple it is to do all of this. So th everything that's in here is going to be in my video. It's all, all of this will be in the video. I don't want to use all of that. I just want to show you a really simple way to do this. I'm going to highlight the timeline and I'm going to delete everything and I'm just going to drag down you see at the top I'm going to drag down the first file and I'm going to drag down the second file which is much smaller so you can see over here the timeline we are somewhere around three and a half minutes I can move the mouse over to the clip and it tells me that it's starting at three minutes and 20 20.08 seconds it ends at 3 minutes and 57.25 seconds. The duration of that video clip is 37.17 sec 37 seconds. So, and the same thing with the first one. We have the file name over here. We have the start time, end time, duration time. Very simple to use this program. I've seen uh, videos of, I can't remember that program that starts with a, an R that's now free. Haven't used it. I might try it one day. But I just went out and bought the, uh, spent the money. Amazon had a great price on uh, PowerDirector Pro 17, including the photo program, which I'll never use. But I, the reason I spent the money, because I use it all the time, and it's so simple to use, and it's just at the point where go spend the money and upgrade and do it the right way. So, not that I didn't spend the money before. I didn't say that. Or did I? So, we go over to this first file over here, and we can click play. This is going to be a product review of the Topeak D2 Smart Gauge. A really quick review, so I don't have all my lighting and everything set up today, but that's okay. We're going to be doing a bike ride in a little bit. I just got this uh, yesterday, used by prof both professionals. Okay, I don't want to go any further. I want to stop. I want to split this video. Used by professionals, and I want to stop it. I can go over here, and I can click on the split where the mouse is. And now I've split my video, and I'm going to show you what that looks like in a minute. You can see I'm moving the second file out of the way, but I just split one and one. I'm still on the first thing. It's split in half. Makes it very easy to do your editing, and that's why I love this program. It's simple. Let's play a little bit more. Absolutely, it's 250 PSI, 17 bars. Okay, 17 bars. I want to split that again. I want to get rid of the rest of this video. All I have to do is click delete, or you can right-click it and do delete. There's a bunch of stuff you can do. I'm just going to delete it, and then my messages over here are, do, where is that? Do I want to remove and leave a gap? Do I want to remove and move all the clips on the same track? Do I want to remove uh, and... Let's just do remove and leave a gap so you can see how simple this is. Remove and leave a gap. So it left a gap. Now I want to add my second one back over here so I can just drag and slide it. This is, it takes no time at all. It's very confusing to figure out this program when you first start out. Everybody says it's got a high learning curve and it's overwhelming. How overwhelming was this? We just loaded in a folder. We dragged a couple files down here. We cut a file. We edited uh, out a section that we didn't like. We moved the files over. And so now we've got a partial of the first tra uh, the first video that I split in half, first part, second part, and then we've got the second video. And now we've gone, we've got like a minute video or something, a little over a minute. 
Very simple to do for editing. What else can we do? Um, title. You want to? I like to add a title to my uh, to my vid videos. So I'm going to click on. Can I get the T over there? I'm going to click on the T over here, and that will take you to title. And you've got all these options. You can make a title. You can customize your titles. And I've already made a title, so I'm just going to. I'm strictly just showing you how simple this is to do. I've got my title that I made on, this is my channel, so I'm going to drag it down over to the T section. Do we see that? See where I put, it, put that in? Let's go zoom on in a little bit and see what's going on here, because this is all I'm going to be working on right now. This is my timeline. I've got my title, and I want you to see what it did. It shows at the top now. See that in the red? Show subscribe to my channel. And if I don't like that, I'm going to right click. I'm going to go over here and I'm going to right click on my title box over there. And I'm going to go and I'm going to add a title. So this is very simple to do your editing if you want to do it, if you want to change it. I want to go over here. I'm going to highlight and drag, and drag my whole title over there. And now I'll get a box that comes up that says, do you like the color? Do you want to change the color? I'm going to change the color. Do you want to change the font? I'm going to do that again. I'm going to, I don't like blue. I'm going to highlight, highlight it. Let's make it yellow. Let's get it really bright. Um, I'm going to drag that again. I'm going to change the size of the font over here. It's at 16. I want to change it to 20. Do I want to do that? Now, you see how it went over screen, so let me move. Is this too big? I'm going to move my mouse over the title. I can drag it and see if it's going to fit in the screen. No, you see how it's hanging over? So I can't use that. That's too big. So I'll drag again, and I'll go over, and I'll make it 18. 18 is fine. Go over here, put this in the middle, and now I'm going to click on Save. So I was able to go in there and save a title very easily. But the thing is that when I go over to my third video, we lost that. We don't have that anymore. And the way to get around that is I just take my title over here. And I want to show you again. And I can go over here and click on it and wait for the two arrows. And I can drag this thing. See the red line? See how easy it is to be able to do what I want to do? So what I've done now is I've extended that all the way through. And I'm going to go show you. I'm going to go to the beginning of my video. I'm not going to show you with the left side. But I'm able to. I'm scrolling from the first part, the second part, the third part. And there's my whole video with a title. Very simple to put titles in there. And the third thing that I do, it's mostly all I do. I do a lot of edit, editing, cutting. Editing and pasting. That's okay. Well, we got this one over here. I can go. I don't like this. Maybe I want to move the second one to the last one. I can highlight it, drag it out of the way, move the second one over here, line the lines up. It, it snaps to the lines. And now I've got the video in the order that I want it to be. Um, what else could I do? What else do I do? Uh, let's say that there we are. We are in the third section. And maybe I don't want you to see part of this. Maybe um, maybe something's going on in the video. I don't want you to see something on the table. There's some dirt on the table. See that dirt on the table over there? Let's zoom on in. I don't want you to see that dirt on the table. So what I can do is I can go over to FX. And I've got an option of all these different things. I want to go find blur. There's blur, so I'm going to drag blur down to my second. I just dragged it down to the second track over there. And if I wanted to extend it, I could highlight it and I could drag this thing if I wanted to. So I'm going to show you what's going on now with the screen. I've got blur, so it's literally blurring. It's blurring my whole file. Okay, it's not blurred over here. It's blurred over here. 
but I don't want to blur my whole picture. Maybe I just want to blur something out of there. So what I would do is I would go over and I would right click on my blur and I would I would left click on my blur. I would click modify. I have on the screen I have options for how much blur do I want and I have a mask. So I'm going to click on the mask and then it says do you want to change the operator? It's going to change things. Yes, I do. Okay. And now I've got this big picture over here. Well, I only want to get rid of, remember I wanted to get rid of the spots on the side of the screen. So I'm just going to, I can go over here, I can go over here. I just want to get that out of the way. And this is stuff that I do in all of my videos. I do cut, I do paste, I remove sections, I put a title in them, I put a comment on the screen. I like to put my title bar so that if somebody copies my video, when I uh, copy strike it to YouTube, they just look at the video and they go, okay, yeah, you're right. So this thing over here shows that I'm going to blur, and I'm going to go click OK. And now we've got a blur over here. And then I have my, my commands to the left. I can make it a mild blur. So again, we see, we see that dirt over there. Or I can make it a radical blur so that it goes in there and completely cuts it out. Um, let me go over to my mask again. Maybe I don't like it over there. Maybe see the, the crossbar. Maybe I don't want to, sh maybe I want to show the table, but I want to cut out the thing I was doing my video on. I don't want you to see that for a couple seconds. I can drag this, I can hide part of the box. Maybe I want to cut out the title that's on the box. Click that, and now you can see I've done my blurring. And what else do I do? Sound, a lot of time, I'm going to show you the sound in a minute. Um, sound. Let's say that I don't want sound in the video or I want to cut out part of the sound. Maybe I am on my bike ride, I'm going down the bike path and somebody blasts the music and I don't want to have to completely change the, uh, the video. I just want to cut out the music so I don't get a copyright strike. Right over here, highlight the video, clip I'm working on, right click, go all the way up to the top where it says unlink video and audio. It goes in there, it goes down here and it splits it. You can see how it did that only on the last track. It's split over here. I can highlight the audio and I can click delete and the audio is gone. Um, what else is there that I do? What do I do? Oh, some other stuff. This is going to be, this, will, this is definitely cool. Let's work on the first file. Well, let's stay with the third. We're just going to stay with the third. We're going to get out of FX and we're going to go back to the editing part of it. Now, on my screen, you don't see much until I click the file I'm working on. And we have this thing called Power Tools. This is something I use all the time. I am very limited with what I do on my videos, but that's okay. You have the options over here for video crop. Video reverse, I've r rarely done a video reverse. Video speed, video crop is what I do. Video rotation comes in handy. If you, right now I've got the camera in front of me. Sometimes I'm doing a video uh, showing a demo on a table and I can't put the camera in front of my lap. So I have to put it on the other side of the table and I do the recording and video rotation allows me to flip everything around. So I'm going to do video crop and I'll do video speed. Let's do video speed first. And we have an option over here for video speed. When you go to the newer versions, as you speed up your video, you can still hear the audio play really fast. And it's like Now with this, you can only go to a, a two speed. After uh, 2.0 X speed, you lose the audio. But I'm going to go over and I'm going to change this to, I'm going to change part of this to 5, I'm going to change part of this to 8.6. And I want you to see what happens when I do that. See how small that little file went? I'm at 8.6, I can go over and slow it down to 5. You lose the audio also when you go under 0.5x. Uh, but I'm going to go to 0.54 and see how it extended. Now, when I do that, when I'm at 
0.54x, I want you to see, I want you to hear what happens. So you can see the video over here. And see the slow motion, how it barely moves. Hardly anything happening there. And if I went to, I'm going to stop that, I'm going to go to a little faster, 70, 0 0.70. So the video is slower. I'm going to go to a 0.1, where are we at? Let's do a 0 0.2, 2.10. This video is going to play in just seconds. See how fast it's moving? And so you can use that if you're speeding something up, if you're slowing something down. Now, notice how when I played that, I can go and click, click on movie and over here, and it will play everything from the beginning, or I can do the clip and I just stay with my clip. I'm going to play that again. Remember I had the blur at the beginning of the, the clip, and then the blur disappears. So you see the blur in the middle now, Oop, on the clip. And then halfway through, we are going to lose the blur. So I'm controlling blur, I'm controlling the speed, I have removed the sound from that one file. All of this took just seconds to do. And now I want to show you, I think this is going to be the final thing that I want to show you, is crop. Crop I use all the time. And let me get rid of the video speed. I don't want to do video speed. Let's do video crop. Video crop is really handy. I'm going to click on video crop over here. This comes in handy as I'm doing my, almost all of my videos. I, uh, let's say that I film this thing sitting on the desk. And remember I used the blur. The blur will cut out some stuff. But let's say that something's going on in the background. And I really don't want, I, I still want to keep my full screen. But I don't want you to see what's going on over here. I don't, uh, maybe somebody's standing there. Maybe I had a sheet of paper on the table and my name and address and phone number on there. And I'm like, I don't want to show that. I only want to show what's going on over here. We see the little white bars. I can drag. It's still going to hold the 16.9 ratio. That's, the, that, that's one thing you can't get rid of because you're working with the ratio. But see how I can shrink it down? So instead of having all of this, I can trick people out and I can just shrink this down. And I can drag this over into the corner. And it allow, also allows me to zoom in a little bit. And see this point over, where is that? This is really important too. Just to show how easy this is to do. So we can see right now that I've got the beginning of this file is over here with this little red marker. And I'm only going to be showing what's going on in there. As I slide across, we're going to get to the end of the file. I don't want you to see that person standing in the video anymore. I didn't want that. So I can drag. Maybe I want to zoom in on the name. See the name over there? I want to zoom in on the name so I can go right in here. And I can just show you that. And you're going to think, wow, this guy's so good with his camera. But I'm just cutting everything out. And then down over here, I'm going to move this to the middle. See how it's bouncing around again? I, my smart gauge D2 at the top is no longer showing. Well, let me get to the middle of the video, and I'm going to click down on here to add. I'm going to click down in here to add another point of reference, and I'm going to move this thing right to. So I'm going to click OK right now, and I'm going to show you what this just did. You get a little exclamation point over in the video showing that I have done some editing with power tools, see power tools, video crop. I've got my blur over there. I want, I'm going to take the blur out right now. I want to get the blur out so that I can show you what this looks like. So let's get rid of the blur. Blur is gone. And let's look at what I've done now. I have, I have my video. I have cropped it. I have moved it. it I've changed the order. I have added a title screen to the top, and I have cut the audio out. So now I want you to watch what happens with this video. See, I've got the full size, and it's going to zoom into D2 in a minute. It better zoom into D2. 
Where's that D2? Come on, show me the D2. I know I did this. Where the heck is it? Why didn't it show me the D2? Did I not click OK? Maybe I didn't click OK. That could be it. There it is. There's the D2. Let's go check this again. Power tools. Let's find out what I did. Video crop. I didn't get the video crop that I like, so I want to find out what's going on here. So I'm going to check again on my video and see what's going on. At the beginning, we're looking only at that. Some amateur bike riders, native high quality material. Am I on the right video? Because I deleted the audio, so I don't know what's going on there. Power tools, video crop. We're looking at the front. We're going to play this. I threw the video back in, kind of strange. Okay, so let's go to the right. The end is D2. Let's go back over here. I want to do this. I'm going to move this over so we are going to look strictly at the wood and we're going to cut this out. So if you look now, the video is going to show the display. We're going to move across. We're going to see only the wood and then we're going to see D2. Let's zoom on up to D2 a little bit better. That's how the video is going to end. I'm going to click on OK now. I want to show you the video and you can see what I just did. Gonna have okay. Now the audio is gone. Now that I'm back into full editing, it's gone. So we've got. Remember, I went to the display, and then I'm gonna start it. I'm gonna go over to the wood, strictly the wood. We're gonna get rid of everything else in a minute. Should be coming in around now. See how it makes a nice transition, and then it's gonna zoom on up to D2 in a minute. Now we're going to pan over to D2, and you would think I did that all with my camera, but I didn't. I did that all with editing. And that is how I put all of my YouTube videos together. So let me zoom on out and get out of the screen and out of the crop screen. I'll go back. That's my full thing over there. And so what we've done, what I just showed you, is I dragged all my files into the project. Very simple. I went over to the timeline and I repositioned, I dragged and dropped, repositioned my files where I wanted them to be. Um, remember this is 01, this is the second part of 01 that I split and this is 02. So I've, at the second part of 01, I split out the audio, I went in there and I cropped it. You saw me, I just showed you the crop where I cropped it in the, the beginning. We saw the display, then we went over to the wood, then we ended with uh, the D2 part. Down over here on the bottom, I put in my title thing. So this is probably 99% of what I do with all my videos. Um, the editing can get a little tricky sometimes when I see something in the background that I really want to crop out and I don't want people to see it or I have to blur it. And then after that, that's, that's my editing. That is most of my editing for my YouTube. And so let's talk about video. Let's talk about a $350 camera, maybe a $500 camera, and finding the software online or going out and spending 90 to 100 and some dollars to buy the software. So you set up the, uh, you set it all up. You set up the software, you do the camera, you start posting videos and videos and videos and videos, and it takes a long time, and you've got to get your minimum amount of subscribers and your minimum amount of views, and you want to monetize those videos, and you've got to be careful. You don't want to swear in them. My suggestion is you uh, what's it, moderate your comments. Most channels don't moderate their comments, and there's a lot of swearing and insults and fighting and rudeness. I moderate my comments and I approve them. If somebody makes rude comments, I report them. I report the abuse with them. And so you get a camera and you go through this whole thing. And after you get so many views, they ask for your address so they can verify where you live. 
and then they ask for a bank account so they can drop so many, uh, give you a couple deposits of maybe 10 cents and 30 cents, and then they want to verify how much money was put in those accounts. And then they get your social security number, and when you start getting enough videos on, you turn maybe a $100 camera, unless you're using your video camera or your uh, cell phone. But you, you do that, and you do your software. I would go with a PC if you don't have a PC and you're struck, stuck or trapped with a cell phone, then that's what you do. But uh, you get a PC, you get some editing software, you do this, and next thing you know, you're pulling in uh, $5,000, $10,000, $20,000 in play money every year. You're making more money than people that are working a, a part-time or maybe even a full-time job at minimum wage. So it pays off, but it takes a lot of time. You've got to come up with good videos. You've got to find it, come up with content that people want to see. You cannot use music or you can't monetize it. Um, you've got to watch what you're doing so that you don't violate their community rules. You can't... Uh... I saw a guy who was uh, on a, a people lifter and hit the power line. You can't put that. You can't show that video on there. You're, it's going to get flagged. You'll lose your channel or you will... Uh... They might age restrict it, but you probably lose your channel after some strikes. And that gets serious. You get three strikes, and your channel is gone. Not only is it gone, but they know your name. You will never get another channel with them. Um, what else goes on? You don't get a channel with them. You might lose access to almost all of Google's products. I remember they had that Google phone thing. Once you had the channel strike and your channel was off, you lost your phone number. You lost everything, and it's gone forever. I don't know if they still do all of that because a lot of Androids now need a Google email address. So you have to be really careful what you're putting on there. If you're doing uh, guitar lessons, you can you can show you can show playing chords or notes, but you can't play a song because you can't monetize it. You're going to get nailed for copyright. So just watch what you're doing for content. And my final thing I want to show, I go into the button over at the top and I click on produce. Now, I believe I said this was 1920 by 1080. I could go right click it and see what the, uh, the format is. Some people would want to keep it at 1920. That's what I do. I keep it at whatever I set it at. I always do MP4. Some people might like to use uh, different, uh, different setups with me. I've, I think I already set this up with a default. Let's see if there's the default. Nope, that's for the GoPro. So I want to go to default. I want to click on this thing, and I want to go to 1920 by 1080. 30 frames is how I shot that. I've got my setup. I've got my video over here. I've got a button down at the bottom behind the phone that you can't see that's a start. I have some info here of how much space is free on the computer, how much is used, remaining part of the video that has to be processed, uh, and how much has been produced, how long it's going to take me to render this whole thing. So I'm just going to click on Start. This is a small video. This is only, we can see this is a, a minute and seven. We were a little out of focus. So it's a minute and 17 seconds. I'm going to click on Start now. And because this is a fast computer, if this was not a fast computer, this would be taking forever. But it is a small file, but really, this fast PC that I spent a chunk of money on, because you, you have a very hard time. This is 1080, uh, 1080 with 4K. It's a nightmare to process this stuff. On my other computer, I will spend 13 hours. On this computer, I will spend about 30 minutes. So it makes a big difference. We're rendering the, pro, the file now. We're rendering, we're rendering the video. And... It's almost done, and I'm going to show you what's going to happen over here in a second. We're going to get a rendered video on the screen. We are almost done. Back to edit. Now I'm going to go click on back to the edit page. And here's my rendered video up at the top called Produce. What I would do then is I would go on YouTube. I would... I'd probably change the name of Produce. It really doesn't matter, though. I would upload my file to YouTube. You don't need to see me do that. I would upload it to YouTube, and then I would go in there and put in a title. I would put in, um, I would change my settings. Do I want people to leave comments? Do I want to block comments? Do I want them to see 
how many views, um, category of the video, do I want to monetize it, uh, do I want to have YouTube figure out the monetization, do I want to do vid uh, ads before, rolling ads, ads at the end, do I want to age restrict it, um, lots of options you have and let me just show you right now that I'm not going to upload this so you can see it, but this is the full video. This is the video that would end up on YouTube that you would see or that wh whoever would see when they would watch it. My subscribe thing is up there and you remember I have my three different uh, video files. They're all going to be merged together and rendered and you're going to see the you're going to see all of them. The first two clips, you're going to have audio. The final clip, remember I cut, I split the audio out. That's going to be gone. And remember, I started off, I believe, I showed this part first, then I showed this part, and then I went up to Smart Gauge 2, all without audio. So let's see the final result with the title up at the top. And I remember I sped it up and then I slowed it down. I did not keep that in the final. This is going to be a product review of the Topi D2 Smart Gauge. A really quick review, so I don't have all my lighting and everything set up today, but that's okay. I'm going to be doing a bike ride in a little bit. I just got this uh, yesterday, used by prof both professionals. There it is. What do we have? We have uh, a reset, we have a unit, and we have a tune. I don't know what the heck a tune means. That's in my second I'm file. I'm the instructions now. Let's do a, a reset and just come on. We have a thing on the back for the battery now. Let's do a unit. Can we get any reading? Uh, can we get anything? I have no, we get nothing. And, and we're we almost at the end now. Here and Where we're going to have reset. the third file. I would think this would come on. And uh, we're almost there. The we're going to switch over on. any we're second now. That's the third one. Remember, I'm in the display. Then I move over to the right. I pan over to the right, and we see only the table. And then I'm going to zoom, I'm going to pan to the left, and I'm going to go to the Smart Gauge D2, which is going to happen any second. We have only a few seconds left in the video, and we're panning over to Smart Gauge D2 as the video ends on YouTube. And there it is. So, why did I do this video? I did the video because I have, I started off my channel years ago just for fun, and it ended up turning into, some people call it a side hustle, some people call it a side business. That's what it really became, is a side business. I pop out tons of videos because I love them. If I was really good and if I had a company helping me with the production and the editing and doing the title screens and everything, I would probably be doing a couple hundred percent better, if not more. But I just do this for fun. I do it because I enjoy it. I love it. And uh, I do this at nighttime. Sometimes I'll do it late at night. Uh, sometimes it takes hours and hours to render some of these huge videos that I do, bike ride videos that are uh, three hours, and I have to go in there and edit them down. Maybe I'll speed them up. Maybe I'll slow them down. Maybe I'll zoom in. Maybe I cut the audio out. I put the title thing in there. Uh, everything I just showed you is what I do in my videos, and I do the same thing over and over and over again with every video. So. Once you pick this up and you learn it, you just sit down, throw the video on the screen, and go through the whole process of editing. Sometimes it's not that easy if you have stuff in the background that you really don't want people to see, or if you mess up, you have to cut out words, or you get the idea. But you turn this into a fun thing where you can educate people. I can't tell you the hundreds, if not thousands, of comments left to me by people in their 70s saying, I just repaired my toilet because you gave me a detailed video. I can also say I get thousands of comments that I'm an idiot or my, I talk too long, my videos are terrible, I don't know what I'm doing, I'm a fool. I, I get it all. And, uh, and again, those are the videos that, or the, those are the comments that get reported and they never see the, uh, the screen. So I made, the vi made this video to let people know it is not easy. Believe me, this is not an easy thing. It takes a while to, it takes a long time to get a following. It takes a long time to get subscribers. It takes a long time to build up your channel unless you've got really great content. I've got cool content, but 
There are people that pop out a video and they get a million views within a few hours. I, get a, I might get a million views in a month if I'm lucky. So that's the whole difference between um, having content, having a huge following, having subscribers, having uh, the likes, having people comment or share, pop it on their, uh, their channel so that other people see it, uh, having Google or YouTube um, advertise your video or promote it or show it on a screen so that others see it. There's a lot involved, but the main thing is get yourself a camera. And most cameras nowadays are really good. Cell phones are really good. Cell phones are better than a lot of video cameras out there. But with a cell phone, it's not as easy to do the editing like I just did here. Learn how to do this. Find yourself a computer. Try to get something good. At least use what you can, use what you can get. You get better, you go out and buy yourself a better computer. You turn this into a business, which if you start getting checks, it's going to become a business. The IRS is going to say you're a self-employed business person now, and you're going to have to claim this on your taxes. After you do that, you can buy a camera, you can buy a computer, you can write it off as a business expense. And let me get a sip of water, which I can edit out of this video, but I'm not going to. And uh, next thing you know, you have a channel and you kick back and you uh, find things you want to video. I video everything. Everything that I see, I like, hey, I can make a video of that. Maybe somebody's going to watch it. Maybe somebody won't. Um, I know they say, find your audience. My audience is everything because I've got videos from fixing toilets to doing reviews of dog leashes. Whatever I want to do, I do it. I don't hold myself in. I don't have rules. I just, I love to video and I video. I make videos that go for three hours of me riding a bike up and down a bike path. Nobody's going to watch that stuff. Maybe one person's going to watch it. Maybe some ads are going to be thrown on there. Hardly anyone's going to watch it. They might have an ad block or they might never see it. I don't care. I make videos because I love it and I'm building up my channel and I'm building up the amount of videos on there and subscribers. And over time, you can have a lot of fun and you can build up uh, a nice little side hustle business over there that can help you out, can benefit you. With my channel, all the money that I get, I you're going to be shocked. All the money that I get, I give it away. I give it to, I, I buy things for people. I help people out. I buy them gifts. I, I share. I donate. I, I do what I can because I don't need the money. It is play money. It's a hobby. It's become a hobby. It's a lot of fun and it's something that I enjoy and I consider this a, a kind of a gift that I can use to help people out. I can buy gifts for people. I can share. I can give somebody food. I can whatever I want to do because I can and it's there and it's not part of the budget. I never count on this channel to be there. They could take the channel away from me tomorrow. They could change the rules. Um, they could they could do a, a ton of things. They could go out of business. They're not going to do that. But whatever happens, it doesn't matter. I don't count on this. I don't depend on it. It is spare money that I can use to help, help whatever I want to help. And how do I do it? I do it with PowerDirector Pro. I've been using this thing for a long time. It is the easiest program out there for me. I know there are others. A lot of people use Adobe Premiere and some really high level things. They color grade everything. They try to crop it. They do, hey, uh, smash that like button and click on the notification. And they make fools of themselves laughing and trying to do silly things. And it gets the millions and millions of views. But I don't do that kind of junk. And so I don't make as much money. But I have a good time doing my videos. And it's all done with PowerDirector Pro. I do hope this video helps somebody out. As I say in all my videos, and as you should say, even though nobody does it and they usually ignore it, do that thumbs up, subscribe, like, share, comment, leave a comment. <clears throat> Lost my voice, losing my voice, leave a comment. Um, what else is there? Have any questions? Ask them, leave them in the comments, and set up a channel. Get your channel going. It takes a long, it, you might be a star overnight. It might take you a long time, but the most important things I can say, be careful what you put on your video. The content is important. Don't pop music on there. You can't monetize it. Don't go to a car accident. I was at a, I was riding my bike yesterday. I posted my bike video. While I was on the bike, paramedics were over there. I had my uh, GoPro body cam strap on and I watched them do CPR on a guy. 
Hold on, I'm gonna cough. I may cut it out. I watched them do CPR on the guy, and I got home and I went, this is really a tragic video, and it's sad, and this guy's life, I don't know if he survived. I deleted the video. I wouldn't put that on my channel. I could blur it. I still wouldn't put it on my channel. Uh, if you're gonna do piano, or music, guitar, do reviews of the strings, do reviews of the guitars, don't play music because you can't monetize unless that's what you want to do. If, you, if you're okay with that, then uh, some videos I don't monetize. I just want to show what I want to show. And have a lot of fun with it. There are lots of people that do this as a business. I'm doing it as a lot of fun and it's a side business. But there are people that do this as a business. They take it very seriously. They've got produ producers, they've got uh, finance people, and it becomes a business, and it really overtakes some of these people's lives. They, this becomes just a thing they have to do. There's a lot of really tragic stories about YouTube stars that had a lot of problems in their lives and um, not happy things. So just uh, set things up. Get Power Director Pro. You saw how easy it is. I just went took you through almost all the stuff that I do. Set up a, a channel, set up your videos, start posting stuff, get comments, get comments, uh, and when you can monetize it, start monetizing. Be careful how you monetize everything. And I get people all the time that say, what do you have, 30 ads on a, a, a two-minute video? Yeah, I block them. Yeah, I've got 30 ads on a two-minute video because it's my channel and that's what I want to do. You don't like it, don't watch. I get people that say, you talked forever, I don't want to watch your video, so I watch somebody else. And my feeling is you already watched my video and you left me a comment. So I got some video time in. I got a comment in. And if you don't benefit from my video, that's okay. I don't need you to benefit from my video. I don't need your approval. I do the channel for me. So it's a lot of fun to do. You can have a great time with YouTube. And don't let it stress you out. Don't worry about the thumbs up. Life doesn't matter when you're dealing with thumbs up and likes and approvals and all that stuff. It doesn't matter. Don't let that stuff get you tied up in that rat race where you've got to be famous and you need lots of approval. Have fun, get the software, get a camera, and make lots of money and have a good life.